So the past couple of episodes of Sagrada Reset have been absolutely just amazing to me. This show is so fascinating to me and it always drives me insane when I see people say it doesn't make sense or it's too dry or dull because if you pay attention to this show, you are getting more substance than most anime in modern times is really offering their viewers. To see what this is building up to, and we still don't know exactly what the witch is going to tell Kay next week, what his dead friend is going to say. But at the end of the day, what we get at the end of this episode is amazing, because what we're building up to essentially is how are we going to wipe out abilities in Sagrag? How are they going to do this? And we get the confirmation of everything and how this is working, and how this barrier, and the reason why when you leave the town, you forget you have the their abilities because the bureau back in the day they made this basically ability one guy has the ability to erase a memory from someone but once he dies that erase will just come back into play but his wife has the ability to basically make things last so if she wanted to keep a hot cup of tea hot that cup of tea would always be hot it would never go cold so they make this away so basically if you leave the town you forget you have your ability for life so basically what the bureau is doing is they're flipping that around and making it so even with inside Sagaraga you're going to forget you have your abilities but the issue is, is there's one person this won't work on, and that person is our main character, K. His ability lets him remember things forever. So essentially, it comes down to how are they going to do this? Because the guy who's kind of pulling the strings right now, his ability is to basically revert things. So he threatens K. What if I revert you back to before you even had your ability? And K calls him out on his bluff because his ability would have a five-year limit at best. He could revert things back to five years at best. And I love the battle of wits that was taking place this episode. Seeing K not really kind of like back down, kind of throwing it back at him and essentially gets called, well, what would be the only way to basically stop you from remembering? And his response was, unless you're going to put a knife in my heart, there is no way. This is going to be interesting. Where is this show ultimately going to end? How is this going to work? Are they going to truly erase all abilities for good? Is there going to be a way to let abilities stay? Because you can see both sides, why people would want to erase abilities, why people would want to keep it. For someone like Kaya, he doesn't really see a reason. If you have this ability, if you're responsible with it, why shouldn't you have these abilities? But at the same time, it's very easy to, to fear these abilities, to put the burden on a high school student to have to, if it's up to him to give up his own life for someone because he has an ability, it's unfair. But at the same time, it's also unfair to take abilities way from those who wants to keep it because they are there it's basically a part of them so i love that this episode is really making you question or at least the past couple of episodes are making you question should abilities stay or should abilities go away and neither of the answers are right in my opinion i think both are equally right and wrong in their own way but ultimately it's really down to like What's going to happen with K? And K shouldn't have read that manuscript because now it's like, is he going to get assassinated? What exactly is his friend going to tell him once she has her shower and makes him dinner because this is all predetermined? This is leading to so many things that's constantly make my mind race and I have to give credit to this OST. It is incredible. The past couple of episodes, the piano tracks that they're using, just the individual backing tracks are really adding to the immersion and emotion of all these individual scenes. Sakura Agarisa is a fantastic show in my opinion. I think the amount of people who say it doesn't make sense or it's just boring, I think are absolutely insane. I'm all for people having different opinions, but I feel like a lot of these people are just kind of watching the show in the background while they browse Facebook, browse Twitter, doing other things because this show is so damn immersive. I'm loving every single minute, the characters, what's going on here? What's going to happen to Kay? Is he going to end up dying? Are they going to erase abilities fully? Like, what exactly is going to happen? And I just think the emotion and the range that we're seeing K go through within these past couple of episodes is absolutely spectacular. I think the character dynamics and just development and growth we're seeing for all the different characters, especially Harky as well, someone who started out to be a very robotic girl, we're seeing so much emotion come from her. And K himself, I think this is just a fantastic show at the core. I think the directing act has actually been very well done as well. Just really, I have no major complaints for the show at this moment. Like, honestly, the complaints I used to have for this are pretty much just tossed aside. I think this is just such a spectacular show and it's sad not enough people are watching it but hey i'm always going to be watching this show week after week and i could easily see myself re-watching this when it ends as well but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you think what do you think is going to happen to our main character k since he's going to be the only one who will be able to remember everything that's happening here what is your mind saying and how excited are you for episode 19 next week let me know your thoughts and before you leave smack that like button share your support for the new channel be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one